Hello! <coughs> Hello, it is me, Ariman the Exile, and today I'm gonna show you another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And this might be the last episode I'm going to do. Alright, without further ado, let's go with the game. Okay, so we are playing as John Marston again. We have managed to finish uh, the whole game. We are currently at the 82% of the game, but you know, uh, I, I watched some uh, videos on the YouTube. Uh, it has been foretold that you are probably never going to finish 100% this game because why would you? There are so many other games to complete, right? So yeah, uh, why would I complete 100% of game? Eh, it's gonna be kind of boring to do 100% full, but the thing is, we can always go ahead and uh, do all of the story. And I'm all about the stories, you know, so it's not big deal if I'm uh, getting spoiled with uh, Easter eggs from the game, but when I see the story spoiling, well, well, that's something else. I don't like that. And I appreciate the community for showing me some tips and tricks but other than that everything is cool because i also sometimes watch youtube myself believe it or not and i usually see some stuff about red dead redemption game so uh, let me tell you about first easter egg in this game so john marston has uh, his uh, eyesight like the sound in the like the in the sound of the wind right but Arthur Morgan does it differently, and speaking of gameplay, Arthur Morgan has uh, his eyesight like a revolver firing, revolver gun, yeah. And John Marston has it uh, like a wind, like some wind. That's the sound, right? So, there is a difference between those two characters, so I don't know. I saw also something else, like when John Marston shoots with his... Uh, with his eyesight thing, he does it with one eye open and one eye closed. But Arthur Morgan has both eyes open when he does his uh, thing, right? So there is a difference in the gameplay, which is also another Easter egg. I didn't know about that. But recently, a couple days before, let's say, like five days ago, I watched the video on the YouTube and I managed to know that. So that's good. Everything is good, right? And now we are going to do more Easter eggs for this game. How are we going to do that? All right, let me show you. Uh, I'll show you in a matter of minutes. So, but I won't spoil it to you. What what are we going to do? I I you can take a guess. I guess, but. Other than that, we're gonna stay and uh, learn about those stuff what I'm going to show you now. So, we are going to take a ride to Rhodes, right? Yeah, sure, I would like to go to Rhodes. Because in that place... Because in that place we're gonna meet with somebody special there which is another uh, easter egg for this game, right? So speaking of easter eggs, this game has a lot of easter eggs. But I'm just going to show you a couple of them, alright? So we're gonna... Practic practically we, we're gonna be reunioned with some old members from the gang, uh, which I'm going to show you. And uh, if I'm not wrong i believe i'm gonna be uh Thank you. showing you all the, the destinations on the map so if i don't forget them <laughs> i believe i want so i will show you exactly the locations because i also checked on the youtube i couldn't know by myself it would be like uh, really hard to manage and do this uh episode without like 
using a little bit cheats, right? So I'm cheating a little bit. I'm watching the other uh, gamers. Uh, they know much stuff about the game, right? But I don't have time for everything. So I would... Uh, I would kind of visit... So, you see, I'm not mad about spoiling easter eggs. I'm only mad about... Let's say it like that. Mad, right? Mad about spoiling the story. I do not like to spoil the story from the game. Because that is, is the disaster. Where is the fun in it, right? So... We are going to do and visit some old friends. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> like Mr. Welcome Pearson. <laughs> store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? Hmm. How the hell are All right, you? that's funny. Pretty good. But Got you can actually get plans? something for me. <laughs> Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Well, uh, I'm at a loss for words. Okay, I could go for... I don't know, let me see the catalog. That would be interesting to see, right? So, then I... I do not care about prices. I got a lot of money, so as we can see, I got two thousand dollars and two thousand twenty thousand dollars actually, and I'm going to buy cigarettes. Yeah, cigars, right? Because why the hell not? We are rich, bitch. We got that beautiful ranch. So actually, Mr. Pearson here is Enjoy. speaking with us, which is which is also another cool thing to do. He knows how to speak with us, and if I can remember, he didn't recognize me before when I entered his store, but now he did. And if I go back to him again, sure. he will probably talk away. with me more. But I'm all right with this, and uh. I'm going to do this episode probably for the last time and the summer is over so <laughs> no more Mr. Cowboy <laughs> yep. but this game was uh, like one of the best games uh, I played this summer I mean I play only cool games so every game I play is a best game for me and it takes a special place in my heart so those People from the Rockstar, they really made a miracle. So this game is awesome and as hell. And if you didn't try it, trust me, you should totally try it for yourself. And so, I don't know, maybe you can do something differently. Uh, I had Arthur Morgan with High Honor. But I was not doing, doing so great at the first three or four chapters. So... Hello. Yeah, I was a bad guy. I, I was a killer. But it's only a game, right? So you don't have to worry. <laughs> you don't have to worry about single thing and relax, man. We are doing this for fun. So the summer is over and the Wild West series will be probably over on my channel for now, I believe. If I do not decide to play it uh, again, one day maybe, in the future. But the game was awesome as hell. So, let me tell you, if you never played this game, try it, man. Mister, why the hell are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick versions in my time, but this one. And John Marston is a cold character. So I also did get some spoilers from the uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, I never played that game, but I saw John Marston is gonna be a character, main character actually, in that game. So I'm probably gonna give it a shot for that game too. So the summer might be over, but I'm going to play the Red Dead Redemption 1 probably in the future. And speaking of that game, you should first play Red Dead Redemption 2, then you should go for Red Dead Redemption 1, 
because that's the way how you should play that game. And I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. I skipped the first Red Dead Redemption, so I was not a that hype for the game. But speaking of uh, this game, it makes me want to go ahead and check out for the old Red Dead Redemption 1 game. And I, I'm probably going to visit that game somewhere in the future. But for now, we're gonna stick with what we have. <coughs> Because that's the right thing to do, right? So from here, we are going to uh, uh, oh shit. we are going to visit another friend. Yeah, you better not. And uh, how are you doing? Well, there it is. You take care now. Okay? We're going to visit another friend, which is going to be a surprise, definitely. All right, and you will never. Uh... Yeah, we are going to meet with everybody. Actually, let's see that. Are we able to travel to the end of the? Mount Everest or I don't know what, man. Just to find everybody from the old gang, right? So Mr. Pearson, he got some picture when we finished the game. You can wake up now. This is it. Yeah. Thank you for that. When we finished the game, we managed to I don't know, see all that credits from the game. And Mr. Pearson was holding the picture of the full gang. So he still cares about his uh, gang, but okay, not, not like uh, before, he usually has uh, that picture, but we were, not be, we were not able to see it. And sadly, we're gonna continue this journey without that detail, but it's alright. I don't mind that at all. Now we are going to search for somebody in this beautiful Saint Denis, right? <laughs> so this is the place. Saint Denis, right? John Marston does not like this place at all, but... Let me show you. Alright, I saw on the YouTube everybody of his uh, old members right now I'm going to show you where they are what are they doing and what have they become so we do know something about Sadie we know about uncle we know about Charles but this one is gonna be another mystery figure. How do you do? You be well now. Maybe some of you already know who I'm I speaking of, but for you who don't know, alright, let me let me search for that mystery person. Alright. And I'll show you. Just be patient with me. I guess we're gonna explore the city a little bit because Saint Denis is actually not that small it's gonna be a lot of exploring it is where Arthur Morgan decided to go for a doctor in this town and the doctor told to him that he has a tuberculosis which was the sickness nobody could cure in that time not even in this time but yeah you get the point Why are you troubling me, huh? so he didn't have much uh, years or days to live and that was the sad story about Arthur Morgan here alright this is something uh, 
Aha. John. John Marston. Tilly. Miss yeah. Tilly. That's that is her. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Stop binging, man. <laughs> All right, I was just speaking to a girl who I didn't saw in years, man. So everything is fine. She's gonna send us a letter. That is how much I know because I watched the YouTube, man. Who could who could have guessed that I was using glitches also in this game? But that's not a glitch. Let's be honest here. I would never find them myself, so I decided. You know what? That's a great idea. I could make a video about this. So yeah, here I am. And the next place is going to be uh, Ensburg. Yeah, all right. I believe we got something in that place. So we are not going to ride. We are not going to ride to the Ensburg. We are going to use a taxi <laughs> because is uh, that's the best way. Nothing can happen you to you if you are using like Hello? the trains or taxis from this game. And you are getting there in the minutes, in the matter of minutes, man. So that's the best way. There, there you go. This is the best way how to get to your destinations by using those transports nothing can kill you in the way nothing can like steal your money so yeah nothing can do anything to you and you know what you can't break the mission while using those transports which is also another cool thing and yeah you get there in the matter of the minutes so this is the best way Whoa. I have no other way alright something is probably chasing us in this woods but we do not care about that we care only about one thing which is to get to our destinations but wait we actually have another mission. We are going to go there now. Alright, let's see what's up with this place. Alright. Huh, man. We've been a bad person before. We are going to fix that. We are going to fix that. It's not like it's not going to be like that. Not anymore. We're better now. We got our wife. We are married mad now. We got chill we got one child. So let's see what's up with this place. Probably nothing much, but let's give it a shot, shall we? Hmm. 
gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not, no, no, but because we cares. What are you talking about? The demons have us by the stone, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness, it's, it's, it's everywhere. The, he was right. What are you talking about? They come in darkness. They're coming. The demons? What? Keep your door shut. They are not the demons. What the fuck? Oh, There's more, all right. There is a wolves, man. Or dogs. What the hell? What happened to dog? All right. This is this is very sad. We have to kill those dogs to to release those freaks of people. Over there. All right, I'll handle this. Come on. There, on the bridge, brother Kane. Praise me, brother. I didn't think I'd make it. You too. Back to the village. I'll keep these dogs. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but something is very wrong in this place. We are killing the poor innocent dogs. I don't know, but they are trying to bite the people from this village. What the fuck happened in this village? What, what is going on here? All right, I'm glad I'm I picked this mission, but I'm still not sure. Alright, so this is not the main thing. The main thing is was actually was to me to find some another mystery figure. Which I did not, obviously. But okay. I'm going to do this objective then, alright? Yeah, dogs go crazy. They could be sick. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms, <laughs> and he and he said his protection, protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? Just sick dogs, hydrophobia, or some other poison? He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, Mister. You can get yourself a gun. Shoot any sick animals you see. Life will be just fine. The darkness has come for us. <laughs> yeah, he was right. Who was right? I was. What the hell? <clears throat> I shall save you. And who are you? There will be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. I just saved them. And it weren't no curse, just sick dogs. Dark charms. Possess the woods, I told you. He, he, did, he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? Don't touch he it. He found the curse! I found it. So. The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. Oh, oh. Yet the woods are also full of demons. Oh. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. <laughs> <coughs> so you're saying someone destroys all the charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. 
can see that. It's impossible. <laughs> there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. Something is not right here. I believe we should uh, revisit this place by going to the next objective, right? Uh huh, I see. So we're gonna go in the woods, right? We're gonna go and release the curse. But how are we going to do that? We might get in trouble there, huh? Are there gonna be some demons there? I gotta be prepared for this, alright? I should probably take uh, take them on the foot Because you never know what can happen, right? Alright, oh, what the hell was that? What the hell is this? Is something... Something going to kill me? I don't know, I don't see any demons here. What kind of... Fucked up is this sound? What is this sound, man? What am I searching for here? Is there something on the tree? <laughs> I don't get it. It should be something on the tree, probably. Aha! I get it now. One out of 13, man. Where the hell am I going to find 13 of those things? Alright, let's see. If we can do this. Can we do this? I believe we can. Yeah, pretty much. But this place is a little bit fucked up, man. I would not like to go there in the dark. Oh, I would not like to go there. <laughs> so let me tell you. When I'm finished with this. And that guy with, uh, who said, I am going to save them. He is... Uh, I do not trust that man at all. I'm s very skeptic about that person. I believe he lies. I do believe he's a liar, not me, so... He placed something very rude to those people. He put them in that state of mind and he corrupted them with some unusual speech, right? So. He told them that demons lives in the woods, which could not be truth at all. I think I believe he is lying for some uh, reason. So yeah. But now, speaking of mystery figures. I do not know anything about that guy yet. I believe I believe we are going to learn about him in the matter of the minutes. As a matter of fact,
ne? <lacht> so. Back to the thing, right? Let's see. Let's see, where can we get with this? Alright, John Marston does not know how to swim. Oh. Oh, there is another difference with uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, there you go, another Easter egg. <laughs> Who could have guessed? So, there is another Easter egg that John Marston does not know how to swim. And Arthur Morgan knows how to swim. So there is a difference between those two fellas, right? <clears throat> now knowing that, but man, I was all, almost there. I think I'm going to find that last thing and I'm going to release this woods from the demons. Okay. How the hell am I going to do this? There you go. We're done. We're done with this. There we go. It was not that hard. And no demons were in the woods, man. So everything is good. It was a lie. A scam. Nah, man. We're not going through the water again. So... We are going to follow. Oh shit! We are going to follow the road, and we we're gonna get there. Oh yeah, we're gonna go there, man. We're gonna be there in no time. Okay. So You better not ask. Remember me? <laughs> Helped you with some dogs. Been seeing about this curse of yours. Oh, welcome, brother. It's a dog going. Oh, There's uh, charms out in the woods. Yeah. They're all broken. All of them? Of course, all of them. So, I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle. We're saved. <laughs> the darkness lifted. <laughs> not saved. Huh? Cursed. Yeah. He... Broke the charm. The spirits are set loose. We're, we're, we're doomed then? Hold on. But you said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. I don't uh, understand I, this I, fella. I some light here now. <laughs> this one is yeah, lying to us to so think. much. Hey, huh? look at me. Yeah? I'd think there's something going on in this holler, and it ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this feller don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up. And this one wouldn't be so <laughs> quick with the ideas. He didn't have some clue of it. This have guy. The gift, my ancestor. <laughs> gift myself. How about I gift you I'm my fists? I'm going to commune with the spirit. You can Dark. take my gifts, man. Dark my omens. fists. <laughs> it's All right, this man is fucked up. He, he, always, he, always he did to something to those eyes. poor people, definitely. There is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Maybe I'll go check it out for myself. See if I can see anything. Something is definitely wrong in this place. We are going to find out. All right, just stay with me. I guess I'm gonna be needing a horse for this one. So yeah, let's ride. Let's ride it on. We're gonna get there in no time. So 
so this is us trying to figure it, uh, to solve the problems from this village here, and they're the bandits of course I got his horse. he got your horse now get down off of there boy Really I was wanting to kill you all along. You motherfucker, you're not going to cut me like that. How about I shoot you in the head, motherfucker? Come with me. Taste my bullets. Alright, you want some? You want some? You want some? Who wants some of this, huh? Oh shit, my vision. Oh no. Doesn't matter, I'll kill you all the way. I'll kill you without my vision. I'll kill you with the lucky shot. There we go. Lucky strike, motherfucker. Down. So lucky strike was the American cigarette. So yeah. <laughs> Very good. Just like Coca-Cola, man. Just like Coca-Cola. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> That's very American thing. So yeah. Well, guess I'm gonna go in that place to find out what is going on there. What the hell am I missing here? Am I going in circles? Oh no. I just hope I'm gonna get there in no time. What the hell is this? Why am I going in circles? Doesn't matter. I'll be there. There we go. Nice and easy. I just hope there is not, not going to be some bear or bandits anymore around, so everything else or, or demons, yeah, right. Demons in Texas, man. I mean, demons in a wild west. What the fuck? So, yeah. No such thing. Uh -uh. I would not believe in that stories, man. That man, he came up with some idea, that uh, Indian guy, he is like lying to those poor people. And they are crazy probably because of him. And who knows what else he did to, to them. To make them suffer like that. So yeah, something is not right here. And we are going to find out really soon. Alright, we are getting there. Yeah, of course, when we are finished with this place, we are gonna go and... ...search for the... ...rest of the friends, of course. Now, let me see. Yeah, let's, let's increase the vision. Let's increase everything. We need everything to increase. Alright. And now we can go... Uh, are we at the right place here? I believe so. So this must be it, right? Aha. Uh -huh. I believe it is. This is the day. Alright, the people have been digging this with their shovels and I don't know other stuff so we're gonna find out what is going on here why is this place so cursed <laughs> is there gonna be some ghosts or demons what the hell are we going to find here I don't believe in ghosts man not in this game man not in this game 
Well, if there is like an easter egg for this game with ghosts, then that would be a different story then, but... <laughs> I do not believe in such a thing. No, it doesn't fit a Wild West game. Not at all. Alright, what the hell is going on here? The water in here is fucking orange. What the freak? I don't know what is going on, but something tells me this ain't right. <laughs> Cursed alright. Uh, this would be a good example, yeah? The evidence. Who's there? I see you. Someone there. is there. Game's up! This is poison in this mine! What the hell? God damn you! I'll get out of here! It's poison. Well, I better do something quickly. I gotta, I gotta find a way out from this. How am I going to do that? Gotta go somewhere. Let me see. Let me see. What can I use against this? Kill have I done? Huh. There must be some crack in the wall or something which I could use to get out of this place. Come on, man. It's it's not going to be dead end for me now. Not now, man. I'm the main character. Ah, there it is. There it is. There we go, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> God damn. Alright, everything is good now. A dead body, huh? Where's this? The evidence. Head, huh? Another dead body. So this place is poisoned. I knew it. There is no such a thing as curse. He was lying. That lying bastard. It's a good thing that I have evidence now. Come on. Come that I can on. show it to other people so they can see that. What the fuck? Don't tell me. Ah, oh, the whole river is poisoned. What the fuck? What did they put in it? I don't even know. I don't even want to know, but... All I know is that this river is poisoned. Pretty much. Do I hear bats? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> don't worry, we're gonna have some uh, Batman videos probably in the future. But, other than that, we are going to... <coughs> show those poor people that they have been probably poisoned and Shit. drinking this disgusting water man what the hell is that water that's not the water water cannot be brown or orange yeah that's, that's orange pretty much there is the end They say, if you see the light from the pit, that, that means you must be at the good place. But John Marston does not know how to swim, so we better... Shoot! So we better Shoot! go onto get the ground. 
Let me go to the ground real quick. There we go. <clears throat> what were those? Uh, kids? Kids? Huh. What the hell are kids doing here? What are they trying to disco discover here? Right, let's go back to the camp and let's show those poor people what were they dealing with here. As far as I know, they have been poisoned. Alright. And that's a bad thing, right? We're gonna show them that they are so wrong about that fella who is lying to them. A fucking scammer. We're gonna beat his ass up. I told you I would save you. Yes. Said I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes. Show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. No, uh, I, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read. What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, you're back! We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. Found this down in the old dig. Leak it all the way to the lake. Uh, You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. And listen to him say it. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? And you won't mind drinking. Oh, oh hey, no. hey, 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 no, hey, please, please, hey, hey. No, no, no. Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. It's poisoned now, is it? Uh, yeah. Ow. Oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me. Oh, oh dear. Dear God. There's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Powerful forces have taken on this town. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. spirits. Yes. Yes. It's a mining company. Oh, no, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters, we got some praying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Pray, do something. You'll die. Or worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money. They just take oh, it. Oh, damn. Those people are fucked up, man. I better leave now. <laughs> I better be going on my journey, actually. <laughs> Alright, let me take my horse. And let's leave this place. There is no arguing with this. This is not right. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this. Oh! oh. Alright. Now we are on the train. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Everything is good. Don't worry, man. Relax and watch the sky. Enjoy the... The ride with the train, man. Alright. We're gonna meet somebody special in this area. <laughs> Alright. That station just like from the picture. Speaking of picture... I'm going to show you, alright? Just stay with me. Yeah, smoking some cigar. There we go. And... There she is. Mister? Mary Beth. John? Mary Beth! Is it you? How the hell are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Yeah. Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. 
Do you? My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for her. Good for you. I'm oh, so yeah. Proud. We are. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved Legend. my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. I guess Me we too. all do. <laughs> and Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, let me read this book. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be full with that. Alright, if you guys wanna read this, now is your time. You can pause the video. Yeah, I'm going to scroll a little bit. I don't have time to read all of this, man. Like, look at it. Look how much text is there. I mean, that's sweet and all, but... So, we met another friend. Barry... So that will be it from her. From Dutch, yeah, pfft, he's gone. Dutch was on, only there to kill Micah or shoot Micah. We killed Micah, but yeah. I don't know about. Uh, I'm not sure about Billy. Where the hell is Billy? You know the Billy, the that guy, and Javier, that guy who saved me. Who saved me with Arthur Morgan there? Oh sh! My horse is dead. All right. Can somebody explain me how this happened? Ah, the train killed him. No. Damn man, how am I going to ride to, to the next place now? I agree. Damn this place, man. Sweet Jesus, it's only a dead horse. What do you mean? Oh shit, there is a civilian dead. Oh shit. Train killed him too, I guess. <laughs> what a nasty train, man. I guess I'm gonna go on foot from here. But wait a minute. Maybe the stable is not far from here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be ready for that. Let me see. Let me see. I don't see any stables nearby. Wait, if I zoom in. So Valentine is the area where I am currently. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So you go there to meet with Mary Beth, but only when you finish epilogue. So the thing is that you have to finish the epilogue. There is the stable, very good. Uh, yeah, so if you want to meet all, with all of them, you will have to first finish the the story, of course, with John Marston. There is no other way how can you meet with them. 